This morning, a police chase overnight ended when the SUV troopers were pursuing crashed into a house in Pittsburgh's Elliott neighborhood. Lisa Washington is live with more. Lisa. Good morning. Since our last report to you, we've been able to get some more information. Police, so we can share that with you now. We understand that the person who was driving that SUV this morning was 33 year old Dustin Stobert of Brackenridge. And we know that state police are looking for him right now. According to state police, they tried to pull Stobert over on Steuben Street in the West End area of the city of Pittsburgh. That was overnight. They say Stobert didn't pull over and began to speed away. Now, we are all along Danley Street here, the city's Elliott neighborhood. That's where state police say that Stobert failed to negotiate a curb, hit this whole Home and then the garage. Now, there were some people who were inside that home, but we were told that they were not hurt. But take a look. You can see the significant damage there. Again, part of the railing is knocked down the fence uh, at this home. You can see one of the uh, pillars is off the side of the house, and there is significant damage to the garage. Again, state police saying there were several people inside the home at the time that the SUV hit it, but they were not injured. Again, a lot of debris on the ground there this morning following this accident overnight. Now, State police say after this accident, Stobert jumped down a hillside and managed to escape. So state police are still looking for him right now. They say he will face multiple charges. He's also wanted on some charges in Lower Borough and on state probation and parole charges. So again, state police looking for 33-year-old Dustin Stobert. He is from Brackenridge. He is the person that state police were pursuing very early this morning and created that significant damage when he crashed into a home and a garage. We're reporting live in the city's Elliott neighborhood this morning. I'm Lisa Washington for KDKA TV Morning News.